Okay, hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here. So why would Apple do this? And what am I talking about? Well, there's been a rumor coming out saying that Apple may not ship a wall charger and also the wired earpod headphones with the brand new iPhone 12. So inside of the box, you could get the phone, you could get some paperwork and also a lightning cable and that's it. Now, some people are really upset because they feel like if they're going to be paying somewhere upwards of $1,000 for a phone, they should be getting these things. And I do hear those people. I see where you're coming from, but I think Apple doesn't care. And I think simply Apple is trying to do this because they want to save money. This is not a very hard thing to figure out. They want to save money. They want to help their bottom line. And if they can cut out on the millions and millions of ear pods and wall adapters that they have to make and ship with the iPhones, they're going to be making more money in their pockets, especially if they don't change the price of the iPhone to reflect the missing components of the box. So if they keep the price the same and they don't have to ship these things, that's that money. And that's the main reason. Now, because of this move, Apple could also be helping the e-waste problem that we have. And e-waste is basically that people may already have a charger. So by Apple continuing to ship chargers with new iPhones, that could just be adding this, this backlog of extra tech and stuff that we have that we may not be using or that we start throwing away. Now, again, this is just a rumor. Nothing is set in stone just yet. But I think that when Apple does this, I think this is not going to be anything as drastic as getting rid of the headphone jack. And also when Apple started getting rid of the CD and DVD drives or the optical drives inside of their Macs, because I think that really shifted the industry to make people start getting serious about providing their software for downloads. This would just kind of be like one of those things that it will be a news story when this happens in September or October if Apple does announce it. Uh, but it's not going to be, I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't really see a lot of people saying, you know what that iPhone 12 really interests me but I don't want to get it because it doesn't come with a wall charger I think most people would just use the charger that they already have now one thing I do not see Apple doing is not shipping a lightning cable with the iPhone because if you are trying to get people that are switching over from Android you don't want them to get home and not even have a lightning cable to charge the phone um, because their Android phone still uses micro USB or USB C now in the short term this is going to help Apple save money because the smaller the iPhone box is because you don't have these extra things means that you can fit more iPhones on that plane when you're trying to mail these to everybody in the world. But in the long term, I still feel that Apple thinks that everything is going to be wireless eventually. And these iPhones will be having wireless charging. And I think Apple still is working on air power and air power was that wireless charging mat that could charge the iPhone and the Apple watch and also some AirPods all at the same time. And then I think eventually when they start shipping air power, I think they're going to be like, hey, I know we told you not to worry about wall chargers, but buy this one more charger from us because it's going to be wireless and this is going to be the best way that you can charge your iPhone. And I think at that point, people will be pushed again to buy another charger. And then of course we're back at square one. But I think for the most part, if Apple does this, this kind of rumor leak it out right now may help soften the blow a little bit uh, to consumers. So it's not going to be a total shock for people, but I don't think this is going to be one of those deal breakers for people. I think people will hear it. Um, the other competition will start making commercials and making fun of Apple because they're not shipping their chargers inside of the box. And then in two years, those same companies may also stop shipping their chargers inside of the box because they see that it's working for Apple and it's saving them millions and millions of dollars. But this is what I think. What do you think about the high iPhone 12 and this charger gate or whatever it's going to be called when it happens, leave your comment down below. Oh, and wouldn't it be funny if Apple still put the charger inside of the box so these rumors would be completely fake? That would be hilarious because I think some people would come after Apple saying they don't care about the environment because they didn't listen to the rumors and get rid of the charger, but we'll see in September or October, but I'm really just interested to see how the cameras on the iPhone 12 are going to be. That's the big story for me, not this, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.